Hello, this is Mandy, and I'm doing a quick color test. Um, these colors were inspired from a pour I saw, and I'm pretty sure it was from Lisa Marvin. I don't know if it's something she recorded, though, so just thank you for the color inspiration, Lisa. So, using the bloom technique, of course, um, putting down the pillow paint first. And then our first color will be indigo from Matisse, followed by phthalo turquoise. I used golden, because that's what I have. That indigo color is really pretty. And she, I think, used, I think it's called Glisten, which is like a green, boot, green blue interference. And I combined green and blue interference. Um, and then I used, what color is that? Matisse Cobalt Turquoise or Teal? I think she used a Cobalt Teal, and I used Cobalt Turquoise because that's what I have on the top. Um, with the Atelier Silver Interactive Cell Activator. Sorry if you can hear my dog. So here's my take on the first one. I used too much cell activator, which you can see because there's a whole bunch of it in the middle. But it is a fantastic cell activator. Like the lacing and the like the webbing it creates. It's really, really, really great. I also think I used a little bit too much paint, so you can't really see the interference that much so I should have used just a little bit of that and I used way too much of it so that's my take on that um, if I were to do another one I think I should do a smaller puddle with the smaller amount of that color on top so it doesn't completely take over the interference colors underneath because they're super pretty and I think the interest would be even better if I hadn't done that so, but the, I mean, the color is fantastic. It looks really, really beautiful. I don't really even like silver and pores that much. Um, but I've seen a couple of pieces where this was used as CA, the cell activator, and it really looks beautiful. So, you can see me just piling it on using way too much. And it's thick, too, so. But I love it. So far. So I'm going to blow it out with the world's smallest blower, which is great for tiles. Eventually, I think I'm plugging it in. This is not sped up. So if I do the others, I'll probably hyperlapse them. I don't know. We'll see. I am. Um, if you're watching this, I just recently tonight. We did the bloom on that eight inch wood round and the colors are beautiful, it's an, but the composition was not. So I was kind of bummed out you can hear my dogs walking again. They always start making noise when I start talking and recording. So my husband was doing something and so I just decided to try this color because I had mixed up the colors for it over the weekend and I just hadn't had a chance to try it. Um, and then I checked on the wood round because it's drying and I apparently didn't get enough paint off and it wasn't drying well. And I know I'm going to end up pouring over it anyway, so I just kind of did some damage control. And I tell you, sometimes you have to have a small win, even if it's like a coaster set or something, when nothing you're doing is going the way you want it to. Now, when I try to blow out the excess in the middle, that never goes great for me. So, I usually have to remind myself, this hasn't been your most shining moment in the past. The cool thing is, because it is a metallic color, even though there is too much left in the middle, it looks like it's going to kind of settle in as it dries. Hopefully not crack. I think I'm about to give you a little close-up 
my dog is snoring. I feel like my dogs are always doing something when I'm recording. I mean, the colors are just beautiful. I think if I could do it again, which I will, I'll use less of that top color so you can see the other colors. But I think after it dries and it's resined, some of um, some of the interference is going to show a lot more. It shines in the piece for sure. But honestly, I just I'm pretty impressed with the silver as a cell activator. I'm waiting on the copper. It's been on back order for a while, so it should be here soon. And I'm curious how much differently it does than Amsterdam, which is what I've been using. But I was pretty impressed that even though it was, it was kind of thick, it performed really well. I mean, it's my fault I used too much of it. But even though I used too much of it, it doesn't do that weird, awkward um, vein looking thing in the middle. It's like it, it does really good great on the lacing and even though there was a pretty good amount left in the center it looks like it's going to dry nicely so here's hoping just beautiful colors together I went back and looked at the picture that inspired me to try these colors and it's definitely not the same at all <laughs> but then again are they ever right ah so pretty so if you haven't taken shelly's class there's a 15 percent off promo code below before i forget there's also a 20 percent off promo code for color art below anything on the website Thanks for watching. I may do the others with you too. Bye. Okay. So sorry to be redundant, but I'm going to finish these coasters. So you may have seen the first one. I'm going to go ahead and finish them off. Um, and if this one turns out better, <laughs> this is going to be its own video. The first one was really pretty. It's just on after a different color scheme. So, of course, we're using blooms. So that's our house paint, pillow paint. This is a premium Glidden eggshell. Dang it. My dog just had to be in here a minute ago. And now, that actually may be for me being on the carpet, but. So this is, oh yeah, so that's Glidden premium eggshell um, as my pillow. And I always separate it into a smaller batch to help with the potential bubbles. I usually mix into like a, a cup with a couple drops of 91% alcohol. Stir it up really well because alcohol is going to evaporate. And like stir it immediately. Don't just leave it sitting in there. And then move it to a smaller batch and a squeeze bottle that's airtight. It helps a lot with the with the bubblies. Now the first coaster I did, I put too much of the mm, my cobalt turquoise on the top, so you couldn't see the interference green blue combo, and I want to see it. So I'm trying this again to see if I get a different result with less. If I do, I will probably make two sets. One that looks like the first one and one that looks like these because they may be very different but and um, I'm using a lot of this because I want it to show but it's probably too much but oh well it's in there now and uh, of course cell activator again is the Atelier Silver Interactive um, I started off with a three to one, three to one, three to one uh, flow trawl to paint ratio, Australian flow trawl. And then I just added a couple drops to thicken it up or thin it down, sorry, as needed. 
because it is thick. So my dog's trying to come back in here. I can hear her. She's like, she closed the door. So here it is. And even though it's thick, it does such a good job at holding its own. So I really like it. I really, really like it so far. And I'm not a big... This is what's weird about me. I like silver jewelry. I like gold in paintings. I don't typically so much like silver in paintings, which is weird that I would prefer silver jewelry, but not silver in, I don't know, it's weird. I guess I just like the gold accent color. Um, but I do like some, sometimes I like it. But when I saw this color combo, I was like, oh, I need to try that. I really like the, the way the blues interact with the silver. I liked the way the silver kind of interacted with the interference. <clears throat> so let's see. And now I super love it as a cell activator, so now I'm going to have to just start liking it all, all over the place. Oops, that's a big crazy cell. This is what I like. I can blow right into the middle and probably blow too far down and it stretches. It doesn't pit out in the middle. It's really kind of magical actually. I let it come back in the center, but this is a lot more so far what I had in mind. And it's hard for you to see it from there and I can't pick it up because it's so covered in paint. But the interference colors are showing a lot more. So even compared to the painting that we just finished, they're showing a lot more. So that's kind of on target. So this may be an entirely different video than the one I'm talking about like you're gonna see it because this may be a different set <sighs> which is this is kind of what I had in mind so it's kind of cool I wonder if I can zoom you in like way in so you can see it whoa that's out this is in whoa hello but you see this right here on this edge if you were to see it without this ring light it would look even better but I don't know if I can I have everything too far away for me to reach. Yeah, the lighting in here is not great. <clears throat> okay, let's zoom you back out a little bit so the autofocus doesn't lose its mind. All right. We're going to spinny, spinny, spin. Again, I'm super impressed with this paint as a cell activator. It just stretches so beautifully so you don't lose your structure as you're blowing. My dog's crying to come in here. She wants to be where I am. You gotta love that. <clears throat> so it doesn't break up. And um, yeah, I'm just super impressed so far. I'm getting paint all over my hands. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll do a color test with you guys. Oh my gosh, it's like magical. I'll do a color test with you guys and record it so I can remember kind of the ratios and then I'll come back and finish it and finish out the set so that you're not like literally watching the same thing four times. Although I will say I've had some pretty disappointing experiences where I don't record and one of them's like amazing and it's like the best one of the whole set. And it's not recorded. So sometimes I just do the whole set anyway. Or I might record it and then hyperlapse it and add it in. Oh man, this is exactly what I wanted. It still needs a little bit of paint to come off. But this is exactly what I had in mind. It's not perfect, but this looks night and day compared to the other one. So I think I'm just going to do two sets because when they're resined, although they would go together, I would rather finish. Ooh, it's still very wiggly. 
I'd rather finish this one and have it look like that and finish, go ahead and finish the other one and let it look the way it does. It's so pretty. They're both pretty. Let me see. Do we have enough paint off of me now? Let's give you one, one more little spin. Sorry about my arm, but I'm like so close to the tripod. I've already bumped it several times. Look at that. So pretty. I'm so excited. It's amazing how excited I get about a little tile. Because I think it lets me know how I can possibly use those colors again in the future, which is awesome. I think I better stop spinning because my cells are going to get wonky, so hopefully there's enough off. Let me see if I can bring it up so you can see it. I almost killed the painting a minute ago. If you saw our recent bloom using these colors on the 6x6. I almost killed it when I lifted it off of here. Because I scraped the side of it. Ooh, that's a little too zoomed in. But look at that. I especially like the way it creates like a sheet. I'm trying not to drip paint. It creates like a sheet right there of silver lacing. And I love the mixture of tiny cells and big cells. <clears throat> I'm super excited. Uh, we turned the ring light off, but my paint is all over my hands. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, 15% off for Shelly's class in the description box. 20% off for color art in the description box. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. What did you think of these colors? Have a good day.